What's going down, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be doing another shaving video. But before you guys say anything, it's not gonna be a woman's face. We're gonna shave a full bald head with a beard lineup. It came out super crispy. Uh, all the products that you guys see in today's video is from Easy Blade, uh, the shaving cream, the shave oil, the shaving gel, the aftershave spray, the aftershave lotion. All of that you guys can find on EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. It's in the Royal Kit. Uh, you guys can order all the products individually, or if you guys wanna buy everything that I feature in this video, you guys can buy the Royal Kit from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. And you know what's crazy about this video is, for the past two years, I've been trying to do a bald-headed beard video for you guys, but not too many people are bald and not too many people's beards connect nowadays. Not to say no names or nothing, but uh, once he walked in my shop, I just had to put it on film for you guys. But hopefully you guys enjoy. Hit the thumbs up button for me if you guys do. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into the video. All right, so as you guys can see, my guy is in desperate need of a blessing let's just say that so our first step is going to be prep the hair in order to be shaved now what i mean by prep the hair is we want to make the hair as soft as possible that way when we go to shave the hair it just falls off the scalp with no resistance so the first step in doing that is to apply a hot towel we want to apply a hot towel because the heat the hot steam of it is going to soften up that hair um, and open up the pores and our next step is to apply some Easy Blade shaving cream. Now I'm pretty sure everyone watching this has used shaving cream in the past, whether to shave your face, your legs, your chest, etc. So you guys know that shaving cream softens up the hair and allows that razor to take it off super, super easy. Now, a lot of traditional barbers shave with the shaving cream, like they'll apply shaving cream and then they'll start shaving with the shaving cream. I don't like to do that. So what I like to do is apply a hot towel once again on top of the shaving cream, let that soak in and then wipe away all that shaving cream. And if you're wondering why I don't like to shave with the shaving cream itself is I like to see what I'm shaving. I like to see see the hair, I want to be aware of any bumps, blemishes, uh, acne, and in this case, a massive scar on the head. So what I do actually shave the hair with is Easy Blaze Shave Oil in combination with Easy Blaze Shave and Gel. So what I'll do is I'll massage the scalp with the shave oil, and then on top of that, I will apply a thin layer of shaving gel. So I get double the softening action, um, double the lubrication and moisture to allow that razor to glide a lot easier, but I get the transparency that the, the shaving cream lacks. I can see through the shave oil and shave and gel, I can be aware of any bumps, blemishes, scarring, any of that. And that's how I avoid cutting people um, because I can see what I'm shaving. Now when it comes to shaving, as always, keep that razor flat, pull the skin. I mean, not a lot of pulling is necessary to the skin because with the scalp, the skin's already super tight. Uh, so just keep that razor flat, be aware of any blemishes, bumps, and in, in, in this case, a massive scar on the head. Now when it comes to what direction you should shave, how I do it is I go against the grain on the top of the scalp, uh, the hair goes forward, so I shave backwards, and then on the side of the head and the back of the head, I go with the grain, I shave going downwards. I do that because it's kind of impossible, I wouldn't say impossible, but it's kind of uncomfortable to shave against the grain on the side of the head and the back of the head. So I go against the grain on top of the head and then with the grain on the sides and the back.
Now, as you guys can see, that hair just came off the head with little to no effort, and that's because we combined the hot towel, the shaving cream, the shave oil, and the shaving gel. Um, so the hair just fell off the head with, with no effort at all. Now, I know there's gonna be a couple comments asking about what happened to the scar on his head. It's a massive scar. And if I remember correctly, he was in a car accident. And I, I, I don't wanna butcher the story, but he was in a coma for a couple weeks or a couple months, if I remember correctly. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's what happened with the scar on his head. And what's crazy is I think the scarring on his head combined with his head shape, the bald look with the beard, everything just came together to create a super dope look. Like this is one of my favorite clients to, to service because I mean, it doesn't demand a lot of skill or effort to shave somebody's head and line up their beard. But I just, I just enjoy the look of the bald head with the dope ass scar and, and a nice beard. We're gonna move on to blending out the beard. Now, when, whenever I do someone's beard or I try to explain how to do someone's beard, it's literally like an upside down taper. So our first guidelines, no guard close with our Oster Fast Feed. Moving downwards instead of upwards on a taper, we're gonna go downwards. We're gonna open up that lever, make another guideline, open and close the lever to blend out those two guidelines. And then I'm gonna go in with my balding liners to blend out the top portion of the beard into his bald head. Now to blend out the rest of that beard, we're gonna slap on a number zero guard, open and close. Now when it comes to this beard in particular, I'm not really too stressed about getting the perfectly blended beard because when we line it up, it's gonna bring everything together. And on top of that, we're gonna add some hair fibers. So I'm not really too stressed. Now, like I said, my client's beard isn't super long, so we're just gonna skip using any clippers to line up his beard. So what I'm gonna do is apply some Easy Blade shaving gel and then go directly in with my straight razor. The straight razor is way more precise. You get more definition. The beard's gonna be a lot sharper. And I, and I find typically when you line up a beard using clippers, you take off a little bit more of the beard than intended to, but when you use the straight razor, it's a lot more precise and sharp.
And like I told you guys, we will be applying some hair fibers to the beard. And when I tell you all this is my most favorite part, uh, spraying those hair fibers, lining it up with the straight razor, that beard is just left looking super crispy. Now, yes, I am going for the enhanced look. I do want it to look dark and sharp, but I don't want to go for the overkill unnatural look. So that's why I apply one layer of thin hair fibers. And the last step before the post shave treatment, we're gonna use the Andes Profoil Shaver. And I use this around the neck, the beard, and the whole head. Uh, that way I double check my work by removing any of the stubbles I might have left over with the straight razor. Now moving on to the post shave treatment, this is where we clean, moisturize, and protect the scalp. So first things first, we're gonna use some rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is used to eliminate any bacteria, get rid of all that shave oil, shave gel, and any remaining shaver cream that we might have left on the scalp. Now to fight off any redness and irritation, prevent razor bumps and razor burn, we're gonna give the head a light misting of Easy Blade aftershave spray. And the final product that we're gonna to apply to the scalp to moisturize and protect the skin is some Easy Blade Aftershave Lotion. And like I always say, this is my favorite product from Easy Blade. The smell is second to none. that's gonna do for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me drop a comment down below uh, subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one peace